All right, let's go on inside. After you, Tail. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. So Tail, how many square feet are we looking at? We're looking at a total of 430 square feet. And this was only a garage. We didn't push out any walls. We didn't, we didn't do any. This is a straight conversion. The garage wall was there. Um, yeah, this was just a box. Okay, so before we talk about this, let's just take a quick look around. So we'll look at the bathroom and then this one. Because I just want to take it all in because it yeah. doesn't, there's just no way this feels like it was a garage. It looks like we built this from Tell the ground. Tell me about it. Yeah, there was just a pile of stuff there just uh, eight months ago. Um, yeah, no, we, we felt uh, the bedroom was really important. And uh, the fact that you can walk in here and it feels like a regular sized bedroom. Now, I've got a question because people have told me, customers and industry people said, look, if you're under five or 600 square foot, there's no way you're going to put an interior wall yeah. and make a bedroom out of it because it's going to feel like San Quentin. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, no, we um, felt the same way too. We thought this might be too small for a one bedroom. And um, and after kind of measuring it out and plotting it out, we just thought, you know what, we could actually fit a bedroom in here. And, uh, and everyone that comes in here and looks at this place is amazed that this was just the garage. And this looks like about nine by 10 room? What do you Nine say? by 10. Yeah, nine and a half by We still got 10. enough room for a closet. Got the full closet, yeah. Okay. Tell me about the flooring. What are we looking at? Is this a, a vinyl type floor? This is your vinyl wood floor. Plank. Uh, plank, yeah. Um, okay. And it looks great. It's uh, it's smooth. It's scratch and it's, resistant. It's cheaper than hardwood. We don't have to surface it or stain it. Yep. And it doesn't dent like hardwood, Correct. right? Okay. Correct. And yeah. it's I think it's water resistant, waterproof. Yes. So if you have pets, it's not going to make stains and so forth. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Easy to clean. Beautiful. All right. Tell me a little bit about. Let's go into this bathroom. Give me a little uh, okay. once over. So now let him, uh, let bathroom is, I think, standard size, like a five by eight. Um, you know, the idea, uh, obviously, my wife likes uh, lighter color, so it was to keep light color, but do the, uh, um, let's see here. Okay. So basically just to turn on or to, uh, to basically add some, some kind of flair with the tile and then, um, we wanted to have a tub. We felt, you know, we at least know that we like to well, take a bath. <laughs> half of our clients are asking for the walk-in shower. The other half said, no, 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 no. We want both. We want a shower and a tub. And I love the fact that you got choices here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's exactly what we wanted. So um, added the bathtub and um, pretty simple layout, you know, as far as the, the, the bathtub goes. And the cower, the curved shower curtain, as opposed to a framed slider glass door, yeah. it's a little wider. So if they're in there taking a shower or whatever, you've got a little more elbow room. Yeah, I like that. Elbow room. We like the clear shower uh, curtains because it makes it look bigger. Sure. Um, sure. And so um, that's probably what we'll put in here is a clear shower curtain. That way it just looks like it's glass. And um, now I noticed, I noticed easy to maintain too. I see something we got to talk about. Yeah. Why is it so bright in here? And we yeah. don't have, we, we couldn't, that light didn't turn on, but we, yeah. why is it so bright in here? It's because of that tube, isn't it? Yeah, sun tunnel. We didn't put a window in here, so we wanted to bring some natural light and this sun tunnel is fantastic. So as you can see, it uh, brings in, you don't need to turn on the light. You won't need to turn on the light in here until it gets dark outside. We got natural lighting that we don't have to use as much electricity. And yeah. I believe if I'm not mistaken, those don't leak like skylights. That's what I'm right? thinking, yeah. Fantastic. And I love this wind, uh, this mirror over here with the backlit. Yep. So that's pretty slick. And it's just, it's push button, correct? Correct. Yeah, it's got the defogger and you've got a couple, uh, a couple uh, settings here for the light. How cool is that? And, uh, you know, it, it's not, uh, you know, it adds a little bit of uh, modern touch to it and it's not too much money. So, right, right, um, right. So it worked out great. Yeah, I, I like the gray tile and the gray uh, yeah. the tile in the shower. Gray and white sure go together good. Yeah, okay. yeah a lot of this stuff was, we're thinking about long-term maintenance too. The lighter the color on the bathroom, the more you'd have to clean and replace, so. Now one of the things that I'm noticing in here, 
I love all the recessed lighting because there's, there's a couple of things that I think our, our customers, when they're designing their ADU, they should think about this. I love the recessed lighting because it's going to really brighten the room. This eliminates the need for lamps. Yeah. Therefore, you don't need a nightstand, you don't need an end table and so forth. Yeah. The other thing is not one, not two, but three big windows in here, plus a window in the door, right? Yeah. So now, and this is your typical, this isn't your typical kitchen window that's about this big. It's yeah. a good sized one, so we can do dishes out here, look outside. I got a sense of, uh, of openness. Yeah, that's that was exactly the goal behind this whole place was keeping it as open as possible. You know, I mean, if we could have done wall sized windows, we probably would have done it, but, but uh, um, you know, as much light, much natural light, we get good lighting, but we wanted to, to kind of enhance the place because it is only 430 square feet. We wanted it to look as wow. big as possible. It feels like 600 square feet. It feels massive. Yeah. Now we started, filming outside the fan, yeah. I noticed that the fan that's much, much quieter than yeah. the typical HVAC fan yes. on, on, on these mini splits. And by the way, the mini split is going right now, but I can't hear yeah. it, right? Yeah, so can you, can you just basically show us a little bit about how this thing operates? Because a lot of customers are saying, look, is it going to be too loud? No, it's not too loud. Well, if it's not loud enough, then that means it's not going to be blowing very cool and therefore it's not going to work. But it's nice and cool in here and I can't hear it. Yeah, there's really not much to say here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You got some buttons here for setting and the mode and the fan speed. Uh, but, you know, you basically can, uh, this is also your heater. So in the winter, you could use this as your heater. It's just got a temp up and down. It's got a nice little digital yeah, readout so right can, there. Uh, you know, go up uh, in temperature here, uh, or go down in this case, because today it's uh, 100 degrees outside here. Um, and, um, and and I can really, really feel oh, that. Yeah, we have it on low. These, it's on low, and it's, it feels great. Yeah, you, you wouldn't need much more than this for this space, especially since this is brand new construction. It's insulated, um, dual pane windows. So, um, so yeah, this is gonna work great in here, but. Sweet. Okay, let's talk about the appliances as we're looking here. So, um, a lot of customers are asking us, should we go ADU size appliances, which are the narrow ones? Now, yeah. there's value there because that means we don't lose cabinet space, I get that. But, we didn't do that here, no. except with the fridge. What we went is you went full size washer, dryer, stackable, not the one all combo yeah. in one unit, and you went full size range, and full-size microwave, but we didn't lose a single cabinet space, did we? No, no. Yeah, I, I think we, you know, this this was something that we spent a lot of time thinking about. So I think, you know, everyone's space is gonna be different. So once you kind of measure out your space, visualize it, you know, uh, kind of come up with your own uh, uh, design, we realized, well, one, yeah, we saw the all-in-one combos. We, you know, we, I know that I wouldn't want to like, you know, have to wait for, for the clothes to, to, to wash them, to dry right. the next load. So we wanted to give it that, that uh, at least that convenience feel. So that's why we bought the regular uh, size washer and dryer. And then as far as the, the oven range, um, you know, uh, hopefully whoever lives in this place loves to cook because, you know, it really just made sense. We had the space and, uh, and so we wanted to make, you know, cooking accessible. Um, we didn't want to get the big fridge because the big fridge does actually take away from space in here. And if you're one, maybe two people living here, yeah, that's this plenty. is probably enough, that's plenty. you know, so. Uh, I, I love the choice of, of going ADU size fridges there, uh, but I really like the choices, particularly on the appliances and yeah. with the washers and drawers. You don't want to do 10 loads, you want to do two. Yeah. And the fact that you can actually have a Thanksgiving turkey in here, yep. and you could put four elements on there is nice. This is a sealed burner, so it doesn't overflow and go down like a gas this is all electric yeah yeah this is all electric yeah so this any 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 opinions on customers that are thinking hey am i gonna miss my gas stove versus my electric because i know these work yeah but if we go all electric on the adu there's a savings there yeah yeah there is a savings here so um we're not going to be using this so so you, you know i guess you would say pre preferably we'd want gas but you know the, this works just fine yeah. and uh the fact you know since 
uh, we were trying to be as efficient as possible with our costs, we did get our own electric meter here, so that's why all these appliances are electric versus gas. So Beautiful. I think you're gonna get the same, you know, you're gonna be able to cook a nice meal on, on, yeah. on here, so that's well, what's important. I, I love it. I just wanna say thank you yeah, for, yeah, for the tour. You. I appreciate yeah, it. Course. Thanks for your time today. Yeah, thank you.